this is your gate of magic pond crafts and um, as promised i have some things to show you that i bought in past what three months so it's february through end of april and let's start um so i've been looking for some uh, dim dimensions uh kits and there's one uh by gold collection it's cozy Co cove and if you can recognize the style, it's Charles Vysotsky's um, style. And it's going to be using uh, half st cross stitches and the full stitches and lots of back stitches on this kind of pattern. I've seen it, somebody stitch on YouTube. I don't remember who it was, but it looks amazing I've done. And this is 18 inches by 9 inches. And it's um, China's uh, put together kit, which you can tell by um, thread things. And it's 18 count ivory Ada um, fabric. And uh, that's going to be exciting to make. I don't, uh, oh, it's uh, made in 1999. So it's fairly thick inside with more threads hiding beneath it and uh, uh, it was reprinted in 2017 but it's 1999 um, style kit so that was one oh that lamp is really in the way let's see if I can change it then I got a small dimensions kit that had a snow globe it would be my very first uh, little snow globe um, which is love there, I believe there are three of them. It's not showing in here. Um, the samples um, designed by Joy Hall. And um, it's looking very cute. It's going to be only almost four inches by four and a half inches. And uh, you can see there is the number of this kit. Um, so, yeah, and it's done on... Um, not perforated paper, it's a plastic canvas, um, and those are the colors that are uh, going to be included. So it's going to be cute and colorful, and it's again, this one is printed 2017. Yeah, so that's this kit. Then another Dimensions, oops, sorry, hmm. another Dimensions, uh, but the Gold Petite is this Christmas on the beach it's a 2009 collection and uh, it should be fairly easy to stitch uh, like background is done in the half stitches so majority of the stitching is going to be just a tree and the gifts and that's uh, number 7008832 it's 7 by 5 so it's not very big and it's including this white Ada and uh, look at those kind of subdued colors and you would think such a small kit would have you know just a few colors but no look at the whole collection of it and like this blue has quite few of them those uh, threads so it's probably gonna be stitched like two threads and a half stitch or even maybe three so that's designed by Bradley Clark. So that's another gold collection. One more gold petite from Dimensions, the Snowman and the Reindeer. Um, it's fairly known in the YouTube community, stitching community. This is designed by Donna Race and 5x7. So again, the background looks like it's going to be uh, done in a half stitch in different uh, amount of threads. So it's cute little Christmassy thing and the number is 8824 and it's 2008 design um, and again it's on a white Ada I think it's a smaller than 14 count yes it's 18 count uh, white Ada so that's another petite then um, 23 stitch had a sale on uh, anything like a Dracula 
So I decided to get this by Mary Maxim plastic canvas kit because I love Dracula's. So um, this is a tissue box cover. You can see the number and you can see my reflection like in the mirror, <laughs> twisted mirror. So I've never done anything like this. So it's going to be cute. I don't know if I would be able to do it before this Thanksgiving. But look at all the amount of threads that it has. Yarn, I was probably should say not the threads, and it's pretty big count canvas. It's a seven count mesh canvas. Of course, you can do even a smaller if you wanted to. But that's something interesting and new. And I got a little bitty because one Dracula is not enough. I got this Mill Hill collection. Um, it has a little treasure in there. Uh, which is going to be this little bow that's color like a blood red color. There's quite a few beads and that's the only part I don't like when it comes in the kit. So you have to separate. And this is the other uh, full collection items. But um, it's on a perforated paper as you can see here. So I don't know if I would do that or like a canvas, plastic canvas. And you can do it as a magnet. So I, if I put it as a magnet, I could wear it as sort of like my pin. So that's a number, and it's two by three inches only. Cutie. Not a lot of beading done. Um, just mostly around like a edge of the cape and buttons and stuff. So there's going to be only some of the back stitching done. So should be very quick and easy to do. That's a Dracula, and then. A few more things I wanted to try as uh, Mill Hill, and this is for Christmas. I've never done any of those type of Christmas uh, jewel elements. I've seen them done, and they look very, very beautiful. And it's a two by three and a quarter inch only, and it's a lots of beads done. And it's on the blue perforated paper, and I might get the whole collection. Um, after a little time slowly um, so they're very, all very cute very different uh, colors and styles so we'll see how this one goes it seems like where would you put the threads right and it has a little big um, jewel piece in there charm I would say so that's another and the last little Mill Hill kit is an, again it's slightly different it's by Jim Shore and this is a little chick that would be, I thought, perfect for like an Easter time. It's typical of his style. You can kind of right away tell that it's his style. So it looks like it's both sides uh, will be done. And it's two and a half by three and a half. Uh, and that's number JS18, 1711. And it's muted, Eastery colors. Um, that are done and it's lots of threads and here you can see all other chicks by him that's done and it's 14 count white perforated paper that's included and looks like it should have enough plenty of beads which usually Mill Hill is not um, screwed on the beads as it says so there's something different um, that will be done Speaking of beads, I was kitting up for different uh, projects and uh, like a Shakespeare, um, Mirabilia Shakespeare and ladies. So I have these size 11 beads that I needed to have. Most of them are for Shakespeare and ladies. Um, I know these leaves. I'll need quite a few of them. So um, if you replace these type of beads you found somewhere else that's not as expensive because there need, what, 14 of them or something total, um, let me know if you've seen anywhere similar type things. And two more antique bead sizes. So it's kind of polish greenery color. 
and I need that extra whisper. I know it gets dirty very quickly, but it feels beautiful. I've done some stitching with uh, whisper thread before uh, by Rainbow, Rainbow Gallery, and it becomes puffy. I think Mirabilia Winter Queen had this one. Okay, we'll get some more. Okay, so lots of you, I think, uh, went shopping in Hobby Lobby and uh, they had a huge sale on the cross stitch kits and other things. Uh, so I just got some simple scissors because you can never have too many. It's not a gingham or anything like that, but it should still work well. Then you, you can never have too many hangings, right? It's just this simple little thing that you can hang uh, any of the projects that's this wide um, by your knowledge it's seven and uh, almost eight by three and a half so that kind of thing don't know what I'm gonna be putting on that yet I decided to try out these uh, hmm, frames uh, by your your knowledge lap frame so it's 11 by 11 sort of like a q-snap um, cheaper version so uh, we'll see how that works and then I got a few more kits that I've been thinking about getting it's Rioli's kit uh, they usually don't put any names on their kits it's just the numbers it's $14.94 but most of us it's calling it a black horse um, and it's 11 almost 12 by 18 inches this one I haven't thought about buying this before because when I would see it stitched uh, you can kind of see those brown spots and I would think you know why it would have went like this but it's on a black colored Ada so it's gonna be fun fun to stitch and you see all those shades of color and the few that's gonna be those brown and reddish color so there's quite a palette are different colors so it's 14 counts Weigert uh, 19 colors of thread it says and uh, it's anchor threads we always uh, try to use anchor threads so let's put that here and then I got a few more dimension kits so there is the rose uh, it's fairly popular too it's 2015 design and this is a number 735331 um, and it's 14 count beige Ada designed by Lee Bogle, I think I pronounced so I might keep it uh, this color and these are the thread shades that you have see how much of the black is gonna be or almost black I'm not sure if it's a black color it doesn't tell you the name of the dimension threads so yeah she's just so beautiful and relaxed and then I got this one I don't know if I would stitch it or um, give it as a giveaway or just keep it for threads I mean you know for this price who wouldn't want it right and um, it's 2004 uh, design it's called Rose Cuttings by Christy Rupassi I believe 14 by 9 and here you see the palette is beautiful flowery colors so it's nice another dimensions thing and the number is 13720 so that's that and of course I got some perforated paper for some of the probably Christmas maybe a little design so it's two sheets and this coming so it's 14 count not bad not bad and then piece there's a stance it's Teo Gouverneur America I been thinking about getting um, the sets of hers with um, different uh, countries and towns um, but I can't decide should I get uh, like on the white fabric or black um, I know some of the kids look better on the white and some which have like um, 
more darker buildings would look better on the on the white uh, but i can decide if you would get a chance to pick black background that would look like this or white which would you pick i know uh ginger gerald um stitcher is uh, doing was that uh, london england i believe on a black background which looks amazing um and i know somebody's um, so I'm watching somebody stitch one of the Russians towns um, different uh, so it, she's doing it on the white so I don't know how I th I'm thinking about this one okay on to the next grouping so I was at the thrift store first time and uh, they have a little stitchy area and I stumbled upon this fabric twilight blue 32 count linen uh, it was for lavender and lace earth angel apparently i bought it for 10 cents and it's already been surged and ready to stitch so yeah good nice grayish type color i don't know why it's called twilight blue that to me it's sort of like muted blue towards the gray color so i was very excited to stumble upon it first time um and then decided to try something like this uh, to maybe donate um, stitch projects to be sent to other kids. Holiday Bears felt um, ornaments about two by two inches. So they're cutesy. So it's all like pre-cut by Bucilla. I've never done any of them. So it's going to be interesting to try. It seems like it's from 1995 and it's all the stuff included it hasn't been open yet so, so you can see a bunch of stuff that then i stumbled upon the old dimension skit image breezy day it's 1986 kit so so you know like people don't have their faces here um and I'm sure there's very simple, simple to stitch. Um, so I guess Vera Kirk was the painter, most likely. It's 14 by 8, 18 count white Ada. It's never been opened. And they have still American um, type of kit here. So it's very old. Um, very nice, beautiful, simple kit. So that's that. Then there was a bunch of um, pamphlets. Different. So this is something different. Uh, Fancy Work on Fantasies by Victorian Legacy. So there's a different style of uh, stitching. And there's like a black work type thing. So there's a little book. Yeah. And there's a... Uh, but carousel horses by six antique carvings. So there's different type of carousels and they don't have much of the printed colors inside uh, design. So it's all just the uh, patterns inside, but you can see some uh, horses in here from 1988 book. And then there were some magazines I got in and uh, there's some like a 4th of July style and there is not only cross stitch but um, kind of yellow stories and yellow with a little bit pages um, so and a uh, few some simple items like you know the chicken and uh, things like that so it's hopscotch classics by Canterbury designs a little book and uh, I think now it comes back this style um, into popularity back and I guess you can like take the big Afghan pieces or or a thread piece um, fabric pieces and cut it up and cross stitch and country crafts uh, July August 1986 so there are a few small things that kind of attracted me you can make little ornaments out of uh, them and uh, magazine and then Alma Lynn designs a few little cuties like a dolls you can stitch them separately so 
So there's that one. And T. Berry dolls. Um, that actually, if you want, if somebody wanted, they can uh, stitch on perforated paper and just do the cutout, you know, kind of thing. So there's a pattern. And there's more. There's this fancy dad, honey and holly berries, designed by Beth and Carol, folk art collection. I'm not usually much in folk arts, but these cute little bears uh, were just uh, cute, and you can make it, stuff it, and look like a little dolls. And they put patterns. And uh, Amelin's Monthly Angels. On an afghan, you can stitch them separately, one by one, and do it in different color fabric. So, and they have some faces, you know, like eyes and stuff. So, so there's a little booklet. So I was happy to stumble upon them. Then got this for a dollar. Somebody already started stitching uh, this, uh, I guess, tablecloth or something. And it had all DMC thread in it. So I don't know if um, I haven't opened yet. So we'll see. And it looks like fairly nice and straight stitches done. So somebody has been doing probably for a while. And then, of course, when you look for framing, it's hard to find oval frames or round frames. So I got this little birdie with some matting. I don't know what I'll put in it yet, but um, I'm sure I'll find something to do in it. And then I saw this at the Goodwill. And I thought, hey, you know, it, those sleds are popular. I've done quite a few of the sleds as the gifts where you stitch and... You can stitch something in here, put it, or I could stitch and cover the whole thing, but it's very cute and it's already painted and looks great. So, and uh, at Joanne's, they had this uh, Krynik Metallic 001 and uh, blending filament on a sale, I mean, for a dollar and two dollars. So you can never go wrong, you can always use them. And I've got some 14 count mesh, so I might use this to replace uh, perforated paper because I somehow I think that plastic might hold better than just a regular paper, right? And then I've mentioned before that um, uh, my sister took me to Black Cat Stitchery um, Needle Shop and I did some shopping there. So I'll show quickly, the ladies were very nice there. So I have for my, um, for the cinnamon stars, I got this um, 36 count fabric. Um, so it has slight uh, variation. And I had for stitching by the sea, um, by, oh, Katie Haberman, I believe. <laughs> uh, this kind of stiff looking fabric, 32 counts, so I got some of the thread uh, fabrics. And they had as a samples everywhere, so of course, um, Cinnamon Stars, um, it just looks so beautiful um, by Plum Street Samplers. That would be my first Plum Street Sampler uh, pattern that I've got, and um, can't wait to stitch it. And I've been starting to collect Jess Nan's uh, little designs, so this is Bluebird Tweet, so it's very cute, and it comes with um, the little tail and the leg pieces and some beads. You just need to get uh, fabric and the uh, threads for it, so it's very, very cute. And mostly it's just needed a DMC and uh, some linen, so that. And then uh, my daughter was with me, and she picked um, this pattern book by... Threadles Needle Art Design. It's called Mary Bells. Uh, Kurt de Biggs was the designer. And they had in the store samples, I believe, with uh, Christmas colorway and uh, wedding colorway. And it looked amazing. It was uh, done on a fabric, not on a perforated paper. But, um, of course, it will need uh, quite a bit of um, beads and there is made of a uh, specialty stitches but I think it will be worth it so 
Yeah, it uses a lot of uh, Krynik too. And I've been planning to do, uh, it took me a while to pick something that's uh, like a needlework more. And I picked this cat size because I love Egyptian stuff. Um, and this one is called Cleopatra. Um, and uh, again, lots of specialty stitches. And, uh, but I loved how they did the framing, so like separate parts kind of thing. And uh, so they had Venus eyes and Gaius eyes. Of course, you can change the color combination if you really were inclined to do that. Uh, it's going to need lots of Cranix and Gloriana. Um, so yeah, and it's going to be stitched on canvas. Can't wait to try that out. Got more of the similar fabric. Um, so for uh, stitching by the C part and um, for autumn smalls, I got this 32 count current French cafe mocha. Um, so that and that and that. So it's like pre cut, but I still need to. Um, finish the edges for all those pieces and my daughter picked snapper hello by Ben Creek she was thinking about doing some stitch cross stitching too she already did a little uh, start for a different pattern but it looked like it's a little bit too hard for her so she picked something simple and Got again lots of beads for different projects that you are slowly collect them. Um, so I, you know how it is. You don't want to go bankrupt all in the same time. I don't even remember which it was for. I know I got this little baddie um, creature for. Um, uh, my uh, little bat that I'll be stitching. I can't remember who was designed by. But it, and um, I just remember the pattern when I had, it didn't say exact size. So there were three, I think, different size bats. So we kind of picked sort of like a medium ish size. And I needed some uh, Wigs Dye Works and uh, sample threads. So I picked some of them for different patterns. Again, there you go. And this and that. Some will have more vari variations, some not a lot. So that was from the Black Cat Stitchery store. It was a very fun store. There were a couple of stitchers stitching. One of them was Guy. So while I was at uh, my sister-in-law's, she was going through her stash and destashing. And she she said, hey, I, you know, do you want any of these? Um, I said, sure, I love, you know, Mirabilia. Um, so I don't know if she, it's uh, out of print. Rose of Sharon, it's 1994. So I got this one. And her mom's uh, labyrinth and lace pattern. This is beautiful, isn't it? Kind of simple, but uh, you can always change the color of the dresses. And there's the Angel of Spring. And Angel of Autumn. I've never stitched labyrinth and lace. And this is Angel of the Sea. So... Um, so yeah, I think that's all I got. There's some things that, um, actually no, there are a few more small things. I got these for, so my kids can try to stitch for their teachers because end of the school year is like in a couple of weeks. So I'm so excited. So these are just like a little cars that uh, shouldn't take uh, that much of a time. At Hobby Lobby, and I know Hobby Lobby, I asked the lady when she was like rearranging stuff, why so many things are on clearance, and they say they're just getting new stuff. And I've heard that dimensions change the owners, so even like um, the packaging color, uh, instead of like being black, they would have like a red packaging, I guess, for the new pattern designs. And... Uh, 
from Amazon. I got, um, there was a whole collection of these stretcher bars. So I'm trying them out. I also got uh, pins to, to squish it in. What else? I have something coming uh, from um, Russian store Crossville. Um, that uh, it hasn't arrived since it takes at least several weeks to come. And uh, the very last I want to show you is I saw this book and I fell in love. I think I'm going to do every project in this book. It's A Cruel Intentions by Hazel Blomkamp. It's Jacobin embroidery design. So I'm very excited to try out something different than the regular cross stitch, you know, kind of challenge myself. So that's it for all those three months. I think I hit the jackpot with quite a few items um, at the thrift store since we usually don't, oh, that's light shining. We usually don't get a lot of cross stitch. Um, I never seen on uh, any other stores except that one to have anything like that. So I'm set for quite a bit, I think, you know, but you just need uh, some fabric for quite a few of those patterns designs. So. That's it uh, with my purchases and uh, I'm just going to have to put it online on YouTube and I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions or comments, please, uh, so subscribers, <laughs> thank you for clicking the subscribe button, for liking, for uh, all your comments. I love to read all of them and I hope your stitch mania is going well. I just started, I'm starting today my second pattern um, that I picked for Stitch Mania. So I'll talk to you all later and um, till the next time. This was Yurgita. Bye-bye.